In this video, I show you how to get a refund on PayPal. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's jump straight into this guide. This guide is going to work on PayPal on your mobile and your computer as well. So if you're doing this on a mobile device, what I recommend doing is going and using your browser and then going to paypal.com. It's easier than using the PayPal app. So once you're on the PayPal website and you're signed in, just like I am, what you need to do is go and find the transaction you'd like to go and get a refund from. So to go and do that, just come to the PayPal homepage on the dashboard and scroll down until you see the option for recent activity. And then what you need to do is come to the bottom of the recent activity page and go and tap on recent activity or just press show more and then you can see a full list of your transactions. But just before we get any further, it's important to note that you need to go and have a valid reason for wanting the refund. This could be, for example, because the service wasn't delivered or the product was broken or something like that. But just make sure it is valid. So go and select the payment you want to go and refund. Then once you've found the transaction, go and click on it and it's going to expand it and you can see a lot more information about it just like this. So what you can do is just try messaging the seller. As you can see, there is a message button I can go and tap on here to go and see if that does anything um, and see if they want to go and sort of resolve it with you. And it is important to note that to go and get a refund on PayPal, you need to have sent the payment by goods and services. If it was sent by friends and family, then you will not get a refund unless the recipient of the payment wants to voluntarily give you your money back. Otherwise, PayPal can't get involved because you sent it as friends and family. However, if you're still struggling to go and get your money back from the seller, then you need to go and get PayPal involved. And that's where you need to go and tap on report a problem in the bottom right, just like so. Then you'll be taken to this page here called report a problem. And now we can go and get started and hopefully get a resolution. It's important to note there's no guarantee that you'll get a refund. Uh, PayPal basically have to sort of look at the case and see if you're um, sort of eligible for one. So go and choose a point which is most relevant for you. You could just go and put, I want a refund for some of the items in this order. But if it's broken or you know something like that, you need to go and find the relevant issue for it. I'm going to tap here. Then all you need to do is go and add the items which were not in it or you want a refund for. And then what you need to do is just follow the steps that PayPal guide you through because these steps are going to be quite specific to your actual case. So it's not much point in me explaining it because everyone's going to want a refund for a different reason or try and get a refund for different reasons. So yeah, just go and follow with what PayPal tells you to do and hopefully you can get a refund. As I said before, it's not guaranteed, but PayPal will look at each case um, and decide. If you guys found this useful, please go down below and consider leaving a like. Peace.